Welcome back to Quick Statics Answers. Today's question is, determine the maximum force, P. First, we'll draw free body diagrams of the forces at joints A, B, C, D, and E, assuming they are all tension forces. We will define tension forces as positive. Forces along trusses are drawn in pink, and reaction forces are drawn in green. At E, there is a roller, so there is a reaction force perpendicular to the surface, and at A, there is a pin, so we will have both X and Y component forces. Let's evaluate the forces at joint D. We are given that FDC is either 8 kN or 6 kN. We'll solve the problem using both values, but let's start with assuming FDC is 8 kN. We'll write an equation for the sum of forces in the Y direction. After isolating the resulting equation for P, we get that it equals 6.93 kN. Let's keep this value to the side for now and evaluate the resulting value of P if we assume FDC is 6 kN in compression. Since it's a compression force, we have to flip the direction of FDC in our free body diagram. Then we'll write an equation for the sum of forces in the Y direction. After isolating the resulting equation for P, we get that it equals 5.2 kN. Now we can compare our two values of P we solved for and determine its maximum force. The members can only support the smaller of these two forces because that represents the weakest member's limit. Therefore, 5.2 kN is the maximum force that the truss can support. And there you have it, quick statics answers.